What's up everybody? I'm back and today's video is going to be a ton of fun. It's something I've never done and we're going to be trying to trade for every single first round pick in the 2021 NBA draft. So I'm going to have a full season to do it and then another off season. So it'll give me a little bit of time to do that. And they don't value 2021 picks quite as much as 2020 picks. So uh, that's the plan for today's video. It's going to be really fun. We'll see how many I can get. The plan is to get all 30. But yeah, if you have not subscribed, please make sure to do that. We are like 14 away from 1,000. When I hit 1,000, y'all know what happens. I'm getting that giveaway done. So to do that, just subscribe to the channel. In the comment section below, just tell me that you're entering. If you've done it in any video before, you're fine. You don't have to enter again. I know you're in there. But yeah, so make sure to do that so I can finally get that giveaway done. I appreciate all of you so much. Now let's get into this video. All right, so we're here in 2K. Um, I'll load in the 2020 draft class because there might be some valuable people in there. And then other than that, um, I'm not really gonna be rebuilding this team, but if you guys, if this does well and you guys wanna see me rebuild the team after I get all the draft picks and draft everybody, let me know and I will do that. We're using the Boston Celtics today because they have some assets. They have three 2020 first round picks. So I'm gonna flip those for some 2021 picks. They got a second, a first next year, and then some more picks. If you guys remember, Boston has always been the team that has a ton of draft picks and that's because that Nets trade with Paul Pierce, Kevin Garnett really set the Nets back because they gave them a ton of picks. Well now I'm gonna be taking picks and trying to get them to have the most picks ever in the draft. Hopefully I can get them all. I have to get something good for Jason Tatum. Whether it's two draft picks or like, I don't know, maybe like a player and a draft pick that I can flip the other player for a draft pick too. Let's go see who has multiple 2021 first round picks. The Knicks have two 2021 draft picks. Okay, so if I get both of them, Nothing is found. So the Knicks have two, remember that. Um, who else? OKC has two as well. So let's try and bring in their two first round picks. They want Semi Ojale in a 2020 pick, Robert Williams, Javante Green, Romeo Langford and Semi Ojale. Okay, this is a done deal. Let's get those two picks in here, add that exception. They are coming to the team. So we'll try and get the Warriors two picks here. Um, they're probably gonna be pretty good because the Timberwolves are pretty bad. So they want Javante Green in a 2020 first round pick. Robert Williams, Javante Green. And they want to give take away a 2021 first. Yeah, that's not gonna happen. But I don't even need Kai Bowman, honestly. Okay, they agreed to that. So now let's go look and see what picks we have. So, so far we have one, two, three, four, four first round picks. We need to try and get some more first round picks. So. Let's try and propose a trade with the Knicks and get their picks. Okay, they still don't even want to do this. I'm trying to throw in two first round picks. So, okay, let's focus somewhere else and then we'll try and come back to those picks. So, who has a first round pick? Um, the Hornets pick, what do they want for this? Jalen Brown. They also give me Devontae Graham. I can maybe make that work. Gordon Hayward, Carson Edwards, and then a second round pick, and we get Nicholas Batum. We'll try and do this trade then. Okay, so Gordon Hayward's off the books. Brought in another first round pick. Let's try and get the Hawks pick now. They want Marcus Martin. They'll give me back Bembry, Daniel Tyson a second, Cantor and a first, Grant Williams and Tremont Waters, Vincent Poirier in a first. We'll go Grant Williams, Tremont Waters. We got that deal done. Um, I've never even attempted to do this, so it's really interesting trying to like get everything to work. So the Jazz have their pick. We'll try and snag that from them. They want a 2020 pick. Brad Wanamaker in a 2020 pick. We'll throw them Cantor in this second round pick, I guess. And now we have Ed Davis. Now, what can we do? What can, how many picks do we have first off? We have um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven first round picks. Okay. Okay. We can't really give them a player because then we'd have to take somebody else back. So maybe we try and give them 2024 20, first round pick. Okay. They agreed to that. So I think we just got both of those picks. I hope we did. Don't tell me we only brought in one. Oh, I made such a big mistake there. Okay. Um, 
Wow, that sucks. Robert Williams. But then I'm going to want back a little bit better of a player, too. So, okay. um, Give me back Alonzo Trier. Now, they want to give me Mike Muscal and take a pick. Not going to happen. Okay, so instead of Robert Williams, are we going to have to give them, like, Daniel Tice? Okay, that works, I guess. It's just so hard to do this. Literally so difficult to try and get all these picks. Okay, Jared Allen and Spencer Dinwiddie could probably both bring me in a first round pick. Okay, we're gonna do this trade. Let's flip Allen to a power forward and then let's try and trade him. He goes up to an 85. Now we should be able to get some better picks. So whose 2021 pick do we still need to get? Let's try and get this one from the Kings and then we'll also take their 2020 pick and we'll try and give them back Jared Allen. And then they would have to send out like a couple million bucks again. So maybe like Yogi Ferrell. Okay, they don't want to do that. So I would be willing to give in like a 2023 pick. Now they want Vincent Poirier and they'll give me Alex Len. Okay, sure. All right, so we got that done. So now we have another 2020 pick to work with. We have two left. Houston swap worse with the Heat and then... This top 20 or this 2022 one, that's actually not too bad. We'd have to get the swap wars part done, but um, I think I like that Houston Rockets one, so we'll do that here. And let's try and trade our uh, 2020 first round pick as well. See if we can bring in another 2021 pick. Not really, but I'm sure we could do it later. Okay, so we have the Knicks swap best with the Clippers, so let's try and get the Clippers first. Ed Davis and a 2022 Rockets pick. All these are with the Rockets pick. It's just who I want to give up. Um, I'll give up Reggie Bullock for it, I guess. Okay, so we got that deal done. Now how many picks do we have? We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve of them. But we only have two more picks to work with. But we still do have Jason Tatum, Kemba Walker, Spencer Dinwiddie, Marcus Smart. So let's throw Marcus Smart, see what he can get us out here. Can he bring us in some picks to work with? There's not a lot. Okay, New Orleans pick, top five protected. Okay. Also Robert Covington, though. So I could either do this one and get Etwan Moore, or we could just trade him straight up for Robert Covington and then try and flip Covington. I think... We could maybe do that because then if we go to a small forward, he uh, his trade value goes up. And then what can he get us now? What is his trade value now? Please tell me it's over three stars. Three and a half. So he jumps up a whole star, which is great to see. Honestly, so nice to see. 2020 first round pick and DeLon Wright. Um, TJ Warren, Derrick Rose, and Luke Kennard. Let's go try and trade some of our... Uh, bigger name people like Kemba and just try and get some picks even if they're not 2021 picks still get people to trade for picks or something Drew Holiday in this pick okay that's good that's a 2021 pick and we can still trade Drew Holiday and maybe get a 2021 pick for him from someone um or we could get Clint Capella we'll do this and we'll switch Clint Capella to a power forward and try and trade him so Clint Capella, power forward, 89 overall. Let's go try and trade him. Come on, give me something. I need something to work with. I'm going to have to build my own trade probably. Or Steven Adams in a 2022 first. Okay, let's try and build a trade then. So we'll do proposed trade to one of these teams and get a first round pick. So like the Bulls, and then I'll also want from you your 2020 pick. Give me that, and then I'll give you Clint Capella. And we'd have to take back a contract. So we'll take back, like, Thaddeus Young. And I'll give you, like, this 2022 pick down here. Okay, they don't want to do that. So we might not be able to get their 2020 pick. Okay, let's see what else we got to do then. I think we make this trade and then try and flip these two for first-round picks because they are a little bit worse, which for some reason is weird, but it tends to work out a little bit better. So power forward, power forward. And now we'll try and trade Jakob Pertl and see what we can get for him. Even if it is just like a different first round pick, like this one from the Grizzlies wouldn't be too bad. We could probably flip it. Okay, a Mavericks first and Justin Jackson is pretty good. Or a 2020 first, but I have to give up a 2022. 
uh, or 2021. Um, which one did I say? The Mavericks first. Okay, Justin Jackson and the Mavericks first. Now, LaMarcus Aldridge makes a lot of money. We'll see what we can get for him out here. Jared Allen, or Jared Culver and Evan Turner. I guess that's not too bad. Jan Mahimi and Rui Hachimura. I'm going to do this one. Culver should be able to get us a first round pick. So we'll try and flip Culver here and see what he can get us in the 2021 draft. Or a 2020 pick and one Cho Hernan Gomez. We'll do that trade. Can he give me something? A 2022 pick would help a little bit. Duncan Robinson. 2020 pick. Okay. I like that 2020 pick because we can flip that probably for a 2021 pick. And Alex Len. Can he bring me in a pick of some sort? Or just like a really good player or something? For some odd reason, is there anything out here? Caleb Swanigan and a 2022 lottery protected pick. It's better than nothing. And Spencer Dinwiddie, I still gotta trade him. He might be able to get us something pretty decent, either to flip for a first round pick or get like a 2022 first round pick and work on a trade. 2020 first round pick and Courtney Lee, 2020 first round pick and Jeremy Grant. Christian Wood and Luke Kennard, but we have to throw in a pick. Okay, so let's look at doing this Jeremy Grant trade. And now let's try to trade Robert Covington now. See if he can bring us in a pick at all. Let's go and try and get a 2021 first round pick from somebody else then. Um, who still has their first round pick that we haven't gotten yet? The Lakers, the Magic. Everybody wants 2020 picks. Okay, so we could do this trade. Um, would you be willing to do it for somebody less than Robert Covington? Maybe like uh, Jeremy Grant? Okay, no, no. Okay, so they don't want to do that. So let's send them... Huh, I don't know what we could do here. Okay, let's go back to the original trade. Okay, so Robert Covington in 2022. Okay, let's look at other teams and see what they want for their first. So we were at the Magic, so let's take the Magic off. Let's try and get let's try and get the Pistons pick then. Ed Davis on a 2020 pick. Yogi Ferrell on a 2020. You know what? Sure, we'll do this. Okay, and now who else first round pick do we need to get? The Raptors first. Let's take out this first and let's maybe throw in like a 2022 first and a different player. So we'll throw them like our pick in 2022. And then we'll get back their 2021 first. And then we'll also send them like Juancho Hernan Gomez. Drew Ebanks and O'Shea Brissett. Okay. All right, let's check how many picks we have now. I still have, like I don't have to do everything right now but it's working decently well. So I still have three first round picks here. And then I have in 2020, and then I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay, so I have 15 of the first round picks right now. The Spurs first. Rodney Magruder and a 2020 pick. This seems like such an overpay, but like, Okay, give me somebody better than Marco Bellinelli, though. Give me, like, Patty Mills, at least. Okay, they said this they're good at uh, small forwards, so maybe trade me one of your small forwards, then. That's what they were trying to do. Okay, so give me Marco Bellinelli, but then also give me, like, another pick. Like, 2023. Okay, they agreed to that. Cool. So we got another pick to work with. And... We can still trade Jeremy Grant, who might be able to bring us something to work with here. Um, not really, it's just looking like a second round pick. So if we trade Jeremy Grant with like this 2023 first, maybe we can bring in a different first. 2022 first and Myers Leonard, Etwan Moore. 2021 first round pick and Trevor Ariza, cool. All right, this is so rough. Our best player is Jason Tatum, and then it's Trevor Ariza. So our team is just really bad, um, honestly. 
So there's a lot of protection backups. So basically like, I think we're pretty much waiting until after this draft to get rid of those. But who else has a 2021 first that I need to get? The Wizards do. Let's try and get that from them. Can we do this with only one of these 2020 first? Now they want three of them. Heck no. Heck no. What if I give you a 2020 first instead? And then you give me back your 2021 first. They want another 2021 first. No. So we'll try and get a worse player, I think. Instead of uh, them, we'll try and get like Admiral Schofield. I don't want to give you another 2020 first round pick. You know what? Let me make sure that our... Uh, I'm sure our assistant GM is good. Oh no, our assistant GM is trash. I should have got rid of this guy ages ago. Okay, um, wow, Eric Brown. Actually, who's the best at trading in this whole thing? I don't care about negotiating. Jordan Davis, come to the team. Okay, so this might be able to help us a little bit. Um, what can I do? Change to contending. All right, so we're contending now. Maybe that'll help us get better picks. Maybe it won't. I gotta try stuff though. Justin Jackson in the 2021st. Patrick McCann in the 2021st. Okay, we'll do that. Cool. Do we have 20 picks yet? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 18. Okay. What 2021 picks are not protected? So this one is protected. The Bucks first still. We got to get that. Caleb Swanigan and a 2022 first. Don't mind if I do. Okay. Now, what firsts are out here that are unprotected? So let's try to build a trade for that Bulls first round pick. I'll just straight up give you the Rockets pick. I don't get how it's worth less. Okay, so let's see if there's any other uh, picks we have to trade for besides the Bulls. Um, The Cavs first. I think it's going to be hard to get the Cavs first. Uh, Marco Bellinelli will take out this pick. We'll add in their pick. And I will give you 2020 first from the Rockets. And this sec, this 2022 first as well. That's not enough. Okay, I don't need Della Vadova. I'll take back somebody even worse. Um, who could we take back if we can't take back Della Vadova? Sir Dominic Pointer. And okay, that's not working. So we'll remove Marco. Somebody that makes no money. Admiral Schofield. All right, we got that done. Cool. So now, what other picks? This is getting so repetitive. Um, the Lakers pick, the Magic pick. Okay, so Lakers pick, what do you want for this? Okay, I'm gonna go propose a trade to them and just try and trade a uh, taco for Costas. Okay, cool. All right, and the Magic, so the Magic pick and I'll try and give you... Okay, we're out of first round picks. We're completely out of picks. All right, let's try and trade some of our players and try and get first round picks to work with again. We'll trade but or Justin Jackson for Guterich and a second round pick, I guess. Okay, this second round pick, I guess. I think it's time to trade Jason Tatum. Like Derrick Rose and Blake Griffin might be able to get me some first. All right, that's the risk we're willing to take, boys. Or, uh, no, Derrick Rose and Blake Griffin. Okay. Trade Derrick Rose. Can he get us a first-round pick from one of those teams? 2021 first and Deadman. I don't have luck with trading 2021 first for some reason. It's, like, not working, which I don't get. Okay, so let's try and get that Lakers pick here. Oh, we got the Lakers pick already. Let's try and get that Magic pick. 
I will give you Derrick Rose. How much money do they need? Seven million, okay. Send me back someone that's making too much money. Um, El Farouk Aminu. Cool, I maybe could have got more. All right, now we gotta propose a trade to somebody else. The Warriors first. Okay, so I'll give you Blake Griffin. 34 million too much, wow. Yeah, we're not gonna be able to make that work. So we'll probably have to trade finder Blake Griffin and try and get a couple players making less that we can try and flip him, uh, flip into uh, that pick there, which I don't really see anything. Harrison Barnes and Bogdanovich. Um, there's really not a lot here. All right, we'll do this and try and see if that'll work somehow. So now we'll go to the Warriors and we will try to get their pick again. All right, we're going to have to flip like Harrison Barnes, Bogdanovich, and try and get some people making less money. 2022 first round pick would be good with Deadman there. Um, that's something we could do. That would probably really help. Okay, so we got that. Now can we trade Bogdanovich for anything? Patrick Beverly in a first. Okay, that's not terrible. All right, Patrick Beverly in this first here. And we'll go switch Patrick Beverly to a shooting guard. He goes up to an 80. And we'll try and trade Patrick Beverly quick. Roberson and a 2023 first. Okay, we'll do this. And we will trade, or we will switch Roberson to a small forward, 79. Now we'll try and trade Roberson and see what we can get for him. This is a lot. I'm. This is going to be just so much trading, guys. I'm sorry, but it has to be done. If I want to complete this, it has to be done. So we're going to make this trade here. We're going to flip Cody Zeller to a power forward and see what happens. He's our best player. He's an 82 overall. I think it is time we try and trade for that Warriors pick now. Cody Zeller. Give me back Draymond Green. All right, and I got some picks now. I got picks now. Don't worry about it. Don't worry, sweetheart. Do not worry. All right, perfect. 2022 pick. We're bringing in Draymond, Kai Bowman, and we're sending out Sir Dominic Pointer. All right, how many picks do we have? We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 23 picks, and I have a few other picks that we can work with. And we also have Draymond Green. So let's try and trade Draymond here. Well, first, let's see if there's any um, picks that we can get that aren't protected. So the Bulls pick. Okay, so Bulls pick Draymond Green. Okay, they're getting way too much. So they don't have any room to take on like Draymond, but they do have a little someone named uh, Thad Young. Now they want a 2021 pick, no. I'll try and give them, you know what, sure. All right, I'm just gonna try and trade some of the people on our team and see if they can get us anything to trade with. But other than that, we're probably gonna be pretty much set for getting through season number one. Yeah, we're still in the first season, I know. This is terrible. Taj Gibson, we'll trade for him and switch him to a power forward. He's an 80, we'll try and trade him now. See if we can get any assets to work with. Aaron Baines. Okay, we'll take Baines and we'll flip him to a power forward as well. He's an 82. And we will try to trade him and get something to work with. Because he should be decently valuable, actually. Matisse Thibel. Yeah, that's not bad. Wow, this was actually wasn't too bad. A first round pick in Zubak. Okay, I might be able to snag another pick now. All right, Zubak in this first, you're coming to the team. We're gonna flip Zubak to a power forward, 82. Let's trade him. There's no picks really. Okay, so we'll just keep Zubak. Let's set this rotation. Kai Bowman. So Zubak's our best player. We're gonna be really bad too. Um, The best system is two and a half stars. That's so bad. Oh, okay, how many picks do we have? The only thing I want to do is make sure there's no 2021 picks that are unprotected that I haven't tried to get. 
So 76ers are protected. Bucks don't have one. Bulls, we got theirs. Cleveland's good. Protected. I wonder if the protections are going to come out come off after this season but um we'll simulate to the end of it and then after this season we'll see if we can get any more picks otherwise i'll count them up and see uh how good we did so i'll catch you guys at the end of the season so for what this team was with this terrible roster somehow some way we still almost won 20 games i thought we were going to be like 5 and 77 or something ridiculously bad we weren't as bad as i thought so Luka won MVP, John Morant won Rookie of the Year, Lonzo won Sixth Man, Kawhi won Defensive Player, Luka won Most Improved, and Brett Brown won Coach of the Year. Here are all of the NBA teams. You guys do care about those at all. We'll check out the stats too because I think it'll be uh, really interesting to see how uh, who our best player was. So Jeremy Lin led the team in scoring, almost scored tw uh, 19 points. So don't sleep on Jeremy Lin. The man's is a bucket. Uh, Langston Galloway second with 13, Zubak with 12. Yeah, these are uh, pretty bad numbers, man. Yeah, pretty horrendous. We had to have been the worst. Uh, we had to have been the worst scoring team in the league, right? Yep. Actually, solid defensively though. Pretty solid defensively. All right, so uh, let's simulate the playoffs. Let's get into the off season. See if we can make any more trades. And then I think we should be good. So Lakers end up winning it all. Anthony Davis is the finals MVP. So the cool thing about this is we should have enough money to get like some good people in free agency and then trade them. But the hard thing is to get like Anthony Davis, we're going to have to throw a no trade clause on. And that's going to be... That would be rough because uh, then we wouldn't be able to trade him and it wouldn't be worth signing him. So let's see how many picks we have first. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. 24 picks. So let's throw our 2022 pick out there. See what people want for that. But I think if I sign the right players, I could possibly get all 30 picks, which would be insane. Couple first round picks here would help that cause. Um, which like I think is something we're probably gonna do. Cause like this helps our causes of trading for one of those picks. So first let's try and trade for some for a pick. This Grizzlies first is now unprotected. Oh wow, they want Zubak and a first round pick in 2023? Okay, okay cool, we got that. So I think we have 25 or 26 picks right now. Uh, Trevor Ariza, get out of my house. 2022 pick, a couple second round picks. 2022 pick from the Spurs, got it. So who else has a first round pick they need to get rid of? I'm willing to take them all. All of them need to come to me. Who has that first? The Nets do. What do you want? What y'all want? Okay, uh, I can't give you that. So let's go to the Nets and try and get their pick. This is without even signing anybody. So 2021 pick. I'll throw you two 2022 picks. Actually, let's try with one. One. 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, four more. So now it's time to trade anybody with big money on our contract. Dwayne Dedman in 2022 first. Are you kidding me? That's what we need, folks. All right, cool. I'm trying to get as much money as possible and try and 2022 first. Try to um, 2022 first. Try and sign some free agents and see what we can do. 2024 first, 2023 first, 2022 first, and 2024 second. Okay, we literally have nobody on the roster. But, so we're going to throw as much money at Anthony Davis as we can. We'll give him the player option, but we can't give him the no trade clause. We'll also throw as much money as we can, as we can at uh, DeMar DeRozan and Hassan Whiteside and see if we can get anybody to come this year. 
Anthony Davis is agreeing to come to the team. So is DeMar and so is Whiteside. Can we get them all? Oh my. We just got all three of them. We are getting all of these picks, boys. We are getting all of these picks. I am sweating. It's so hot in here. Joe Harris. Jordan McRae. All right. Um, I'm just going to... I don't know what to do. Like, Obviously, it's going to be tough because I can't really uh, sign anybody else. I guess I can sign like really low guys just to fill out the team. All right, let's get out of that. Let's see. Anthony Davis, DeMar DeRozan, and Hassan White. Are you kidding me? How did I do this? I had nobody on the team. I literally had all my cap space. We don't have very many players. Um, so let's go to training camps. Let We'll let them sign the rest of our players for us uh, once we get into the season. And then we're going to trade for those last four picks. So um, we'll load in a draft class too in case we ever want to come back and try and rebuild after this. But uh, training camps, I could care less. This is insane. All right, who has those picks? 76ers. Give me, I'll give you, first let's trade uh, DeMar DeRozan and see if we can get two solid players for him. Buddy and Rashawn Holmes will throw in this 2022 pick. Okay. 76ers first round pick. I will give you Buddy Heald. 24 million then allowed. Okay, so you'll have to give me back somebody with a lot of money. So like Josh, Rich not Josh Richardson. Um, do you have anybody that makes way too much? Like Al Horford maybe? And I will also give you Langston Galloway. And do I have another pick I could throw with them? I have a couple of future firsts. Okay, we got the 76ers pick. All right, who else's pick do we need to get? I'll find you guys when I find the next pick we're going to try and get. So we're going to try and get this Nuggets pick here. So the player we're going to try and throw in is uh, Rashawn Holmes. So they can't do that because $5 million is too much. So give me somebody like Alex Len. Then they want Jeff Green a 2025 20, second. Okay. Deal. Whew. What are we, two away? All right. Let's find the next pick we need to trade for. Suns pick. Let's try and get this Suns pick. So we're going to have to throw in Whiteside. And then, um, do they have a big contract they can give me back? Or a couple big contracts? Rubio? It's not going to be good enough. So first, we're going to trade, change Whiteside to a power forward. And we're going to trade him. Try and get two young... Like, this would be good, but we'd have to throw in a first round pick. Um... I'm just trying to find people on less money that I can trade away. Kelly Oubre and Fred Van Vliet. We can maybe make that work. Should I try and make that work? I think we try and make that Fred Van Vliet and uh, Kelly Oubre one work. And then I also want to trade Al Horford and just see what he can get us out here. Okay, so there's not much for Al Horford. So let's go back to that Suns and try and get their pick. Okay, so they want a 2021 pick. I can't do this. You know I can't do that. But we'll try and do their pick. And I'll try and give you like... I have some other picks you could maybe have. Like this second round pick. They Okay, they keep wanting it first. Okay, let's retry and do this. Let's go and try and get... Alright, so we're going to have to make some more moves to try and... Uh, get some assets to throw in that trade. So Fred Van Vliet on the trade market. Can he give me something better? Like a first round pick somehow would be good. This pick would be good. A 2022 pick. Okay, we'll do this for Torian Prince. And we'll probably also trade Al Horford and just try and get some literally anything for him. Draymond's contract would be a little easier to trade away. So we'll give them Kelly Oubre again, but we'll also take back from them like Taj Gibson 
or do we want to take back Kyle Anderson? We'll take back Kyle Anderson and we'll also take back Frank Kaminsky. And then I'll give you back Kankar and that 2022 pick that I just got. I actually got two of them. Okay, they don't want to do that. They'll give me a 2024 pick and take Joakim Noah from me. Perfect. How many picks do we have left? I'll check how many picks we have and then I'll catch you guys when I'm going to make my next trade. This is the last pick we need to get. It's the Pacers pick, but the Bucks have it. So, we have 29. I'm going to throw you all these 2022 picks I have. I don't care how much I have to overpay for this thing. Let's go. Yes! Let's go. We got all 30, guys. I'm not kidding you. Let's go look. I'll prove it. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty. 30 first round picks in the 2021 draft. All 30. Plus we still have two first round picks to spare. And not to mention, Anthony Davis is still on our team. Let's set the rotation. Let's simulate this season. See how bad this team is. They should be better than last year because we have Anthony Davis. But then we'll go into the draft and literally make uh, all 30 picks. So the end of the season, we end up winning 35 games, which is pretty decent for only having literally like one decent player on our team, maybe like a couple decent ones and then Anthony Davis. Uh, so these are the awards. If you guys are wondering at all, here you go. But um, Anthony Davis had to have made an all NBA team, right? Yep, all NBA second team. Also all defensive second team. And we did not make the playoffs. Nope, we did not make the playoffs, but Let's check out the stats. Anthony Davis had to have gone bonkers. 30 points, 10 rebounds, 2 assists. Frank Kaminsky is our second leading scorer with 12. Here's the rest of the stats. If you guys want to pause the video and look at them, you are welcome to do that. But let's simulate the playoffs. Let's get into the draft. We'll make sure, again, for the second time, that we have all 30. And then we will... Uh, We'll go on from there. So Trey Young wins finals MVP as the Hawks win. Just to prove it to you guys too. Um, simulator difficulty 50, trade 50, contract 50. Everything is 50. If you guys really want to see the entire hour and 20 minute video so you can see that I never went into the settings to change anything, I will post that. Because I don't know if anybody's ever done this. Maybe Six Rings has done it before. I would have to check, but yeah, this is insanity. But I just wanted to prove to you guys that like I didn't cheat this in any way at all. Okay, I'll, if you guys want me to, I will post the full hour and 20 minute video and show you guys uh, how good or how I did this because I did not change any settings. I mean, obviously like stepping rules off, that type of stuff, which is always off, you know, trading recently signed players and stuff, that stuff's off. But other than that, like, yeah, I didn't screw up with any settings. So let's get into the uh, the draft lottery. Oh, look at that. Oh, we are projected to get literally every pick. The only thing is we have a couple that are uh, protected, but um, <laughs> literally all this, Celtics, 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 Celtics. This is the greatest thing I have ever done on 2K. All right. Let's go to the draft. This is so funny, man. I'm just going to simulate the draft. I mean, there's literally no use in me picking because we're going to get literally everybody. We got Cade Cunningham, Jalen Green, Terrence Clark. Like, we got everybody in the entire first round. We got them all. I can't believe I did this. This is insane, guys. If you know of somebody that already completed this, show me. I would love to see it. But if I'm the first one, blow this video up. Share it with everybody because this was absolutely insane. 
Um, I'm going to exit now because if I ever do want to rebuild this team, I will do that. So yeah, that's the move. <clears throat> but yeah, that was this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. It's probably pretty long because there's, there's some parts I can cut out, but I can't cut everything out. So we're probably approaching like a 40 minute video. So I'm sorry about that. But yeah, this, I'm like at a loss for words. Share this with like six rings of steel, crispy flakes, have those guys react to it. And then, um, yeah, this is insane, guys. I'm freaking out. Wow. Well, I appreciate you guys all so much for watching. If you want to see me do any other crazy challenges, let me know. Glasses TKE is literally insane. All right? Yeah. But other than that, it's been TKE. It's been real. Peace out.